Impressions Friday, which means I am going to be telling you about all of the first impressions of everything and giving you the raw truth. I am not being sponsored by a company, so I don't give a damn if their feelings are hurt. I'm going to give it to all of you 110%. Okay, whether you like it or not. I have had three Red Bulls today, so I am really hype and in a really good mood. Lucky for you. This is the look that I achieved today. We went all pink and mauve, or mauve, however the hell you say that word. I wanted to bring the Naked 3 to you. I know a lot of people have this palette, and if you don't have this one or you can't afford to go spend 40 or 50 bucks on a palette, totally cool. They do have knockoffs of this at Walgreens and Rite Aid and any kind of pharmacy, drugstore, whatever you want to call it. So I figured it was something that would be easily accessible to a lot of people, which is my main goal. And if you like this look, then please keep watching. Let's get into it. Just so you guys know before I start, I am missing two nails. Yes, it is <laughs> these two in the shape of an L because um, I'm fucking lazy and I would rather do a first impressions video on a Friday than go get my nails done. So please don't leave any comments about it. I know they're missing. I just don't care enough yet to go get them fixed, but I will at some point. Okay, my hair is half back. I feel better. So the very first thing that I did was spray myself with my favorite spray tan in the whole wide world. It is called Eye Sunless. I have gotten professional spray tans for years. I've tried probably 90% of the over-the-counter spray tans because I'm obsessed with being tan. I have to be tan or I don't feel normal. So, out of all the products I've ever tried, Eye Sunless is by far the best. I will link it below. So, the first thing that we're going to get into is our Laura Geller six-piece full-size beauty collection. It looks like this when you open it. We have a even tone makeup primer, a color lip gloss and these kind of look like bronzers slash highlighters slash blushes so let's go into the primer first this is pretty cool it has um it's like a goldish toned i was confused for a minute i was like um is this a primer is this makeup like threw me off for a second but it is a primer it just has a pretty gold tone to it and I'm just going to apply it to my face and now I'm gonna apply my Chanel foundation the Chanel tint parfait effect Ultra light skin perfecting makeup. And this is 30 beige. So the next thing I'm going to go into is my Tarte High Performance Naturals Rainforest of the Sea. I don't know how you could accomplish a rainforest in the sea, but my skin is a tad bit dry, so hopefully. This will help moisturize it. And it comes in a box and container like this. This color is light. Holy crap. And it has a big applicator brush.
I really like the coverage of this. Um, it's definitely a full coverage concealer. I set my eyes and I'm gonna dip into a little bit of both of these colors. I normally use the yellow, but since my concealer had a pink undertone, I am going to use a bit of the pink. I'm also going to go into my Laura Mercier setting powder and put some in the lid and take my damp beauty blender and outline where we are going to contour. Okay, I'm going to use the Benefit Define and refine brow. I'm gonna condition them, I'm gonna do them, and I will be right back. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Eye Primer in Original, and if you buy one of these Urban Decay eye primers, it will probably last you 10 to 15 years because you literally only need the smallest amount. We're gonna use the Naked 3 palette today. So the very first thing I'm going to do is take a fluffy brush. It's just a flat brush with some fluff to it. And I'm going to dip it into that color all the way on the end, which is called Strange. And I am going to apply it all over my lid to give an even base. I am going to take this fluffy brush. It is from Beach Cosmetics. It's number four. And I am going to go into this color, which is called Nooker. <laughs> This color, which is called Nooner, I'm going to put that right above my crease. With this smudge dome brush from It Cosmetics, I'm going to go into this color right here, which is called Factory. And I'm going to really coat my brush and just put it on the outer V. And with my favorite Morphe brush, I'm gonna dip a little bit back into that first color which was called Nooner and just blend it all out. Next, with that same little It Cosmetics brush, I'm going into the color Black Heart, which is this one all the way in the ends. And I am just applying that lightly to the very outer corner. And again, we're gonna blend. With this flat brush, it is a company called K Concept. I'm gonna take my Urban Decay spray and just spray that brush a couple times. And we're gonna first go into the color Burnout and apply it to our lid. Then we're going to go into this color called Dust and go over it for some extra sparklage. Oh, new word. We're going to take this big fluffy brush from MAC. It's the 224. We're going to go back into that first color, which is Strange. Put just a little bit on our brush. And we're going to go under our brow with it. And we're also going to blend everything together with it. 
All right, I'm taking this angled brush from K Concept, and I'm gonna take that first color, which is called Nooner, and go under my lashes with it. And then I'm going to take the, eh, did I get makeup on me? The second color that we use called Factory. And then we're going to take that last color called Black Heart and apply it to the outer corner. Then we're going to take a little dome brush like this one. I, oh, Japanese or however you say that. And we're going to blend it out lightly. Then I'm going to take this little tiny brush from BH Cosmetics and go into Strange and Dust, these first two right here, and apply it to the hollow of my eye. With my Marc Jacobs Jet Black Gel Liner, I'm going to line my waterline. And I'm gonna take that little dome brush again and just smudge it all out. For my liner today, I am going to, of course, be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, so I will be right back. I'm using lashes from one of my favorite companies. These are called Wispy, and they are from Allied Beauty Health. All right, guys. So my lashes are on. You can probably see a little bit of the glue, but um, again, it happens. I'm gonna use my Benefit Roller Mascara and apply it to my lashes. I don't know about you guys, but I have to hold my mouth open when I'm doing my mascara. No matter how hard I try, I'm like, I'm going to go into this new product. Oh, look, you can see my camera. It's another, oh shit, the sponge fell out. Let me put that back in. Okay, it's another new product. It is a first impression, and it is from Honest Company. And I'm taking my fave fluffy brush from Sephora and just putting it in the product. Yeah. We are not using this, actually. <laughs> actually, this is so legitly new that I did not realize it was a cream. We are going to go into our Kat Von D. And since I just got a bunch of nasty shit in my favorite brush, I'm going to use this big fluffy one from BH Cosmetics. Kat Von D killed it with this powder. All right, now that we have our face all powdered up, we're gonna get into some more new products. I'm gonna take this angled brush from Morphe and get into just that dark part all the way over. and contour my cheeks. All right guys, just to be a little adventurous, I'm gonna go into this one and just go over it a bit. Now, I do like this product. I would probably give it like an eight out of 10. The only thing I'm not super crazy about is the fact that I did have to go over it a couple times. All right, so we're gonna go into this first one and we're gonna take a fan brush and we're gonna get those two colors, the pink one 
and the one right next to it, which is like a pretty go tone. And we're gonna highlight our cheekbones. That's a nice little highlight. I'm gonna take this little brush from BH Cosmetics, it's number six. And I'm gonna contour my nose. into this it's a little intimidating to me but let's try it all right I am going to take the Kai liner in the color exposed and line my lips And now we're going to take the Lara Geller Colored Lip Gloss in the color Sugar Cane and we're going to apply it to our lips. I love the applicator brush. It's like flimsy but not too flimsy. But it really let you get in there when you were applying it and it's kind of that like sticky gloss but not in a bad way. I really like this and I love a new dish pink so I will definitely be using this product in the future. And now we're gonna spray. Alright my loves, so this is the final look. We went all pink today and I am loving it. You don't have to do oranges and tans and browns for the fall. This is a really cute like mauve, however you say that, uh, look. And I think it looks fabulous. So please try it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my page. And also, please don't forget that for the month of October, I am donating $50 for every 100,000 views and $50 for every 10,000 subscriptions to the no-kill shelters of the Eastern Coast. If you want more information, go to www.nokillnetwork.org and please help me to make a difference. I love you, Bunny, so much, and thank you.